and looking good while learning to read. While a local, local school, rather, is combining literacy and haircuts to help kids succeed. First, when News 5 at 5 returns, looking good and learning at the same time. The program, building confidence in kids in more ways than one. A News 5 original tonight. You know, when you look good, you feel good. That's the idea behind a monthly program right here in Cleveland, Books and Cuts. It's helping kids look their best while learning to read. E-Prep and Village Prep is more than a school building. It should be the center of the community. A one-stop shop, motivating. You hear it long enough, you'll believe it. Schooling students in math, history, and reading. You know, you look good, you feel good. You want to fade like that, you, you want to short like that on the top? Once a month, the curriculum offers haircuts to about 50 students. When we advertised the free haircuts, the boys were all excited. Like, I want a haircut. Like, can I get a haircut? Yolanda Wiley counsels kids. She told me poverty runs through every hallway. Probably at least probably 85 to 90% of our kids on free reduced lunch, yes. So personal baggage is heavy before students ever get dropped off at school. Families have little room in the budget for other expenses. When you come sit in our chair, I want you to look me in the eye. I want you to tell me your name. Nice to meet you, Mr. Willis. And I want you to squeeze my hand firmly. That's how you shake a man's hand. Yolanda brought in Waverly Willis to help cuts. Okay, good. He brought students from La Barbaria Institute of Hair. All of it centered around books, improving reading scores. Go ahead, why is it important to read every day? See? Chrishandra Matthews started Literacy in the Hood two years ago. Making sure they got books at home, like that's the biggest piece. Like if you don't got no book at home and then school expects you to read, where do you learn how to read at? Hood stands for helping out our disenfranchised. You are, sir. They're all empowering students by showing the strength that all right? of their own reflection. Cool. And that's our time. Thanks so much for joining us. Rob, Danita, what's going on at six? Frank the